Halo teman-teman and welcome to VOA Border Crossing Musik dunia lintas batas I hope you're all staying safe di rumah masing-masing Dan tetap mencuci tangan terus Dan selalu menggunakan masker jika keluar Nah pemirsa kita akan mulai episode kali ini Dengan sebuah band yang bernama Fairground Saint Dan mereka terdiri atas 3 anggota Yaitu Elijah Edwards, Meg McAllister Dan juga Mason Van Valen Nah mereka bertemu di social media Sebelum mereka pindah ke kota Nashville, Tennessee untuk mengejar karir musik mereka. Nah, bagaimana dengan perjuangan mereka? Nah, sebelum itu, let's listen to one of their songs somewhere down the line di VOA Border Crossing Studios di Washington, D.C. Baby, it's midnight Under your porch light That fallen star might be sending us a sign The highway is calling Somewhere down the line Oh, come on, let's go Chase us a moon boat Let the crazy wind blow us through the grand design We could pick some Georgia peaches I'm a Carolina pie That'll be yours And you'll be mine Somewhere down the line I've got a full tank of gas and some money Let's leave this small town of small dreams behind Fairground Saints are here live. They're clapping all around the world. You're getting a standing ovation in 100 countries right now. And why don't you introduce yourselves, first of all, so we know who we've got in our studios. I'm Meg. I'm Mason. I'm Eli. 
you're Eli. Welcome. Nice to have you. you. I understand that you started off as a solo performer and you really weren't trying to make a group. It was going to be a solo career. Is that true? Um, yeah, I, I think I started out that way. And then I, I think um, I really, you know, once I started playing with Eli and Meg, it, I really saw the merit of uh, what it was like to be in a group and the collaborative experience that it could be. Um, so I, I lost a bit of arrogance there. Uh, the so, so you guys weren't really friends to begin with. You kind of found each other yeah. and in yes. an interesting way, I guess. Yeah. Very um, interesting. On the internet. I'll let you start. On the internet. Yeah. We're on the internet. I was busting tables and I wanted to start a band and uh, I put an ad on Facebook mm -hmm. and Eli was actually the only person that answered it. So, uh, But the thing is, he ended up being like a super genius um, and played all sorts of instruments mm -hmm. um, and we started you know, playing around in Ojai, California. Mm -hmm. and, sure. Uh, this place Near Santa the, Barbara. Yeah, way, yeah. Really nice area and uh, at a place called the Ojai Valley Deer Lodge. And mm -hmm. was going, we were having a good time and uh, we wanted to see if we could take it one step further. So uh, Craigslist. <laughs> Craigslist? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Craigslist. Yeah. Um, and Meg was in the background of a submission um, for our band. Mm -hmm. um, and we actually tracked her down through her dad's chain of hot dog restaurants in, in the, the midwest. midwest so i'm from michigan so am i oh awesome why did you wait four years for the second album what's what's taken so long for the second album um i i think there was some critical acclaim for that record and i think we just were sort of touring it mm -hmm. uh and it had just working of, it it was yeah we were working <laughs> it and uh it had a it had a pretty uh solid shelf life um mm -hmm. uh and uh it's still going so we just decided yeah. to, to, to ride that train um, as long as we could and, until we just felt like we had to make another record. Mm -hmm. uh, and landing in Nashville was, was a big part of that. Mm -hmm. And we spent a good amount of time in Nashville just writing and like getting to know that whole, it's a different part of the country. Mm -hmm. So we took a couple, you know, a couple years to just kind of settle into that as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I was going to ask, that's a big transition from California, from Michigan. You move to Nashville. It's a different vibe. It's a different pace. Uh, it is where country music is is obviously based yeah. and thrives, but it's a change. Mm -hmm. I mean, has it been an easy adjustment to life in Nashville? Or I think it was a fun adjustment, mm -hmm. yeah. for sure. Um, music I, City. Yeah, especially mm -hmm. like... Like you know, our, our publisher Sony ATV, like getting us a bunch of co-writes and just getting in a room like four or five times a week and writing songs for your job mm -hmm. is kind of the dream, you know. Mm -hmm. So uh, it, it was really easy to sort of assimilate um, into that environment and and a little scary as well because there's some you know it's Nashville you can't outright Nashville <laughs> right right you know. <laughs> Bagaimana pemirsa, memang country music yang mereka bawakan itu sangat fresh, unik, dan enak sekali didengar. Makanya ini ada banyak media terkenal seperti Huffington Post, NPR, dan bahkan Rolling Stone yang memuji musik mereka. Bahkan Rolling Stone juga berkata bahwa mereka adalah one of the top 10 greatest country and Americana artists that you have to know about. Selain itu, mereka juga pernah tampil di Grand Old Opry di tahun 2019 dan Grand Old Opry adalah sebuah festival untuk country music yang sangat kece dan bergengsi sekali. Nah, pemirsa pasti tetap penasaran dong tentang fairground scene, jadi jangan kemana-mana karena BOA Border Crossing akan kembali lagi setelah yang satu ini. Halo teman-teman, kembali lagi di VOA Border Crossing, musik dunia lintas batas. Kita masih bicara tentang Fairground Saint, sebuah band yang main country music yang ternyata juga terkenal di luar Amerika. Mereka juga terkenal di negara Inggris dan bahkan mereka pernah tampil di London di depan 18.000 penonton. Unbelievable. Magical. Yeah, Amazing. that was, uh, I, we didn't want to leave. Hmm. Um, we got to do the uh, spotlight stage, mm -hmm. which was uh, how many people is the O2 Arena? It's eighteen thousand. It's around there. Yeah. yeah, so that was a little spooky. Um, <laughs> to to just you know they kind of throw you out there, and, right? And you got three songs to play for all these people, and you, you know it was uh, exhilarating. Mm -hmm. um, and then the response from from everyone was was really really um, encouraging mm -hmm. and uh, refreshing. Um, it's a different vibe when you're playing for 18,000 or when you're playing for, you know, 500 or 1,000 or whatever in a smaller uh, club. 
try to keep it. You, I think you try to keep the same attitude mm -hmm. going into it, or else you might wig out. You know, <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Uh, but I will say, I, you know, we, we've played some shows that for you know twenty people that were way scarier than playing for eighteen thousand. Yeah, it's eye Something contact. You can like see yeah. their eyes. <laughs> right, right, yeah, right. Much more intimate. Much yeah. more in success over you know in London. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, fingers crossed for that. Um, I think that there's been a lot of love over there, and and uh, it wouldn't surprise me at all if we were we were mm -hmm. back. Um, but we're reaching you know like I say a lot of countries right now, and so what was you know the the country music world in London? What's that like? Because I know there's different kinds of music for different places. Like reggae is huge. In the UK, but here not so much. So, how about country music? Is it thriving in in London and the UK? Uh, quite clearly, yes. yeah. Um, <laughs> they are loving it. So. Yeah, they really appreciate the storytelling kind of rootsy thing that that we do. I think mm -hmm. I think that they really really enjoyed it. So. Mm. Yeah. That's great. You have a beautiful voice. Thank also, you. is it you, you guys professionally trained or did you teach yourselves or Uh, we all grew up in pretty musical families. So, mm -hmm. I've been writing songs since I was like 5. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, what's your favorite part of this business? Probably writing the, the songs. The writing the songs. Yeah. Oh. And for you, you guys the same? Because some like the so. performing more, some like, you know. I like I think yeah, somewhere between songwriting and performing. Mm -hmm. Um I, that's that's where I'm at. Yeah. All right, we're talking with Fairground Saints. Would you guys do another song? Of course. Yeah. What's the name of this one and the story behind it? Uh, well, it's called California. So obviously very inspired by where these guys are from. Is there a song called Michigan on this? That you no, but we, no, should, we yeah. should do a Michigan. Hey. Yeah, we should do a Michigan. <laughs> Good idea. Song. All right, ready? Crossing the border, waves on the water, San Diego side. Bells on the mission, ringing out love, heading north on the 405. Straight up to LA, I'll stay long enough to say I tried till I see the sun rise over the Hollywood sign. What's so great about?
Nice. Very, very nice. Fairground Saints. What's the origin of the name, Fairground Saints? How'd you um, guys pick that name? It's kind of about paying homage to the everyday saint. Um, mm-hmm. The idea is more, not so much that it's a band name, which it is, but more that it's a collective of people. Like, you know, it's hard just to get up in the morning sometimes. And, and Meg, you, you put it really beautifully. Uh, we liken the fairground aspect to the world and how it can be very loud and very distracting and it feels like somebody's always trying to sell you something Mm -hmm. so very similar to the fairground and then the saint aspect is you know the single mother that wakes up and buys groceries and you know just the everyday saint like he was saying um just trying to do what good you can in the world. You right. put a lot of thought into that. Yeah. I'll tell you, that's, there's a lot of bands that come in, which uh, came to me, or, you know, I just saw it on a sign. So, you know, but that's, wow, you really put the thought into Were there other options? Um, yes. There were a couple. And they were bad. They, they were, were bad. Too, <laughs> too hard to pronounce. The second somebody says, how do you spell that? Right. It's, it's just not a good one. It's not a good, one, not huh? a good yeah. band name. Ternyata lagu ini juga enak ya pemirsa. Nah lagu ini yang berjudul California dan dinyanyikan oleh Mac McAllister ternyata terinspirasi oleh rekan-rekan band membernya yang datang dari negara bagian itu. Ternyata Mac McAllister adalah satu-satu anggota band member ini yang tidak datang dari negara bagian nah California. Oke pemirsa jangan kemana-mana karena BOE Border Crossing akan kembali lagi setelah yang satu ini. Hey guys, and welcome back to VOA Border Crossing, musik dunia lintas batas. Dari country music di segmen sebelum, kita akan beralih ke dangdut. Tapi musik dangdut berikut ini cukup unik dan berbeda, karena dangdut ini bisa masuk ke dunia hip-hop. Lagu berikut ini berjudul Indonesian Girl dan dinyanyikan oleh Faris Kalima dan LAS.
gimana pemirsa keren sekali kan? Saya suka deh ketika artis eksperimen dan mencampur dua genre yaitu dangdut asal Indonesia dan hip hop asal Amerika Serikat. Salut guys and I can't wait to hear more dangdut from you guys. Anyway pemirsa, waktunya saya untuk pamit. Thank you guys so much for watching The Way Border Crossing musik di lintas batas dan jangan lupa untuk follow di media sosial kami yaitu BOA Indonesia. Saya Gendir Pratama and thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.